Espresso is the fundamental ingredient to every coffee beverage we love, so it has to be good. With your Beans subscription, you're getting incredible coffees with every delivery. And they need to be dialed in to get the best flavors possible. I'm Sarah Dooley, here to help you dial in your next coffee. Let's dial in Monarch by Onyx on the Oracle Touch. Now, assuming you've selected the double espresso button on the touch screen and placed the single wall double shot basket in the portafilter, then we're at the same starting point. Here's what my bar setup looks like from accessories to placement. Pause here if you need a minute to set yourself up for the brew along. At minimum, grab a dry towel. I've got a fun one for you today. Monarch by Onyx is in my hopper. I always enjoy this coffee because it's got that little sweet note of berry, which is my favorite secret fun flavor. My grinder is set at a 23. Yours may be different and that's okay, don't worry about it. Let's dial in right where we're at. Remove the portafilter and dry and wipe it out. I like to get out all the coffee grounds that might be hanging out in there and any water that's lingered. I like to purge the brew group for two short seconds to refresh the system while we're grinding coffee. So insert the portafilter into the grinder cradle and pull it towards you to engage the grinder. And purge. My starting brew recipe is 22 grams of freshly ground coffee. We're going for 25 to 30 seconds of total brew time and that will yield just around two ounces of espresso. It's like having a little barista in your machine. It's amazing. Dosed and tamped consistently. Wipe off any excess coffee grounds around the basket just to ensure we get a watertight seal. And insert your portafilter into the brew group from left to right. It's gonna be a little snug on your first few uses, but it'll loosen up a little over time. Press the brew button and grab your favorite cup. You shouldn't see the first drop of espresso until around the seven to nine second mark. The machine starts at a low pressure and water is moved through the puck up to high pressure. That's called pre-infusion. This will result in a slow saturation of the bed and a full extraction of sugars, acids, omegas, and lipids that make up a delicious espresso. And there it is. That's the shot I was looking for. Give it a little swirl if you're drinking a straight shot, just because it's a little warm. It can be pretty hot off the press. Got that berry note on the nose. Mm, 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 mm. It's got warm cherry pie flavors, graham cracker, brown sugar, molasses. You just can't go wrong with this coffee. It would also be delicious in milk. Did your shot look and taste like mine? The number one goal of adjusting the grind is to either slow down or speed up the flow of water through the coffee bed. Don't be afraid of this step. We can always adjust it back. If the water flow is too fast, the coffee may taste sour. Adjust the grind a couple of notches finer to slow down the water flow through the bed. If the flow is too slow, the coffee could taste bitter or roasty. Adjust the grind a couple of notches coarser to speed up the flow of water through the coffee bed. Over time, all these steps will become second nature and you'll go from having good coffee sometimes to great coffee every time. I'm Sarah Dooley, here to help you dial in your next coffee.